So I moved to Brittany when I was nine months with my brother. And, uh, and after Paris and after London. <laughs> just quickly, um, just how are you feeling today? I'm feeling quite good. Yeah? You, yeah. You've been settled in well into the residency? Yeah, I'm really happy. I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad I moved to New Artists because my place where I work is not very artistic, it's more like offices. Okay. So it's, it's really nice to meet New Artists. That's amazing. <laughs> just quick introduction to the residency. How are you feeling? Yeah? Okay, that's great. And where, where are you, Pablo? I'm here. How are okay. you feeling? Hi. So excited. Can't wait to start. Okay. To new works. Uh, yeah. Well, we're starting today, so we'll start it. Yeah. <laughs> so. Fan. Let me get a quick talk about the origins of this piece you're making there. So the idea was coming from my childhood. I used to live in a neighborhood that I can hear a lot of uh, frog and toad noise at night. And even though I live like on the 31st floor, but I can still hear them in the pond. That just giving me a very nostalgia home kind of uh, feeling when I see a toad, see a frog. Mm. Yeah. So how has it been working with these new materials? It is definitely mind-blowing, especially when you see a frog, like a frog, and then when you shake it, it's uh, a, a 3D shape. Like in my mind, I couldn't. How you doing? We're here today with Pablo. We're just getting a small check-in. This is our second week into the residency, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it's, it's a lot's been going on. I just wanted to get a uh, just how you feeling, how you kind of settling into the residency, residency, and the space. What is it being able to do for your artwork, like being amongst all these different artists? I'm feeling very great. Um, so happy to be here and to have the quite big space uh, for London. Um, and I think like you know the space is a very big thing to like yeah. make it dirty without cleaning it after and yeah. you can just come back the day after and like just continue what you were doing. Um, yeah I saw like working with the two girls it's so nice. Yeah. Uh, we know them very well. Yeah. Uh, everyone is so nice. Are you looking forward to the um, the end of the residency show. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. But I just have like a lot to do. Yeah. And that tool works better. Yeah, for this it definitely does.
been a while since we caught up. Well, not not been a while since we caught up, but I guess we've been working on a lot of different pieces in different locations, shall I say? So how you been? How you been feeling today, baby? Uh, I've been really good, actually. Been uh, quite uh, busy. Um, I've painted here, and then most of the time I've been sculpting in my studio uh, in Hammersmith or in Dalston, next to the facilities that are here. Yeah. And so I've been focusing a lot on work about mental health um, and more precisely about my mental health from before I was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder. Mm -hmm. So most of my work focuses on the three kind of entities that took over my body for a long period of time when I was hospitalized. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and I guess that's what I really wanted to talk about, talk about um, Yuka, Aletheia and Mary. And this is Yuka. So Yuka was a... Uh, uh, how can I say? She was... In my, obviously she was imaginary, but it took proportions because, you know, I was a bit... Yeah. <laughs> and basically, um, what happened is um, she was um, kind of dictating my body, so she could if I wanted to uh, laugh, she didn't want me to laugh, so she would place my, she controlled my left part of the body, so she would place my left hand on top of my mouth, or she would hit me with my left hand, or do something like that, Either she was evil, but um, here you can see she's taking my body kind of as a costume, this is a zipper, um, and this is me as a and I think that's what happened for like five years. Okay, yeah, we spoke on that. It's very interesting for yeah. you to know about your, your past as well. Um, speaking on moving forward to the show, obviously we spoke about Yuka and the other two, three, three individuals in total. Yeah, oh, um, <laughs> you, you told me about how you're gonna, what you, what you plan to do for your solo exhibition, so, I mean, so, for the group exhibition. Can you elaborate yeah. on that? I'm planning to do a lot more sculptures. Mm -hmm. So I have been working with ceramics. It's not even been a year since I started. Yeah. But I think I've been making a lot of progress in the last few months. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to make figurative, rather like huge and small sculptures and installations as well uh, with them. So uh, ceramic sculptures about Yuka, about Mary, who's the other one that was evil, and Altea, who's who was the guardian kind of angel kind of person. And um, basically I'm going to use the image of the wolf, the image of the teddy bear, the image of the angel, which are very present in my work because they are all very related to these three characters. And I'm going to make them into sculptures that embody of what I felt, but yeah, basically it's going to be great. Yeah, so just checking in, today's the 18th of March. And 10 days left of the residency, 10 days left until the show. Um, just wanted to again like to have a recap of we spoke to you at the beginning of the, of the residency and now you're coming up to the end. Is there anything sort of specific you've learned from being on the residency or how it's worked, helped your practice or just working towards the show? Do you want to share that?
have so much more new ideas. Uh, so this residency just it's a safe space for me to come and forget about any worries and just keep making what I want to make. And I think after this residency, I'll be more reassuring that I'm more confident and strength to finish on a project. I have 10 days up until the show and essentially 10 days left of the res residency so i guess this is from from the beginning of the residency now you're coming up towards the end it's like how 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 do you feel sorry uh i feel like it's been an interesting uh experience mm. just meeting artists and being around um artists and just you know not being alone in my studio um it's been interesting and a really nourishing experience mm. Also have uh, learned to work uh, according to a deadline, you know, that, that, uh, which I had not done before. Mm -hmm. And uh, creating pieces, especially for a show, is definitely more heartwarming than just bringing stuff that you've already done. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say I gain experience with the WCA, um, especially in ceramics. Mm. I've done uh, a lot of tries and there were a lot of fails mm. um, I think particularly about one piece that didn't survive mm. in the kiln um, but that's definitely something that nourishes me and that, will, that I will remember for next time mm. and um, yeah I just hope people are going to enjoy the exhibition because I put all my heart and all my, um, all my feelings in it and it talks about very sensitive subjects for me, so yeah. um, I, I can't wait to share it. No, that's amazing. So saying that 28th of that's the first day private view. Yes, so I guess we'll see everyone there. Yes. So. See you there. Uh -huh. So I still have a lot to do. Yeah. Yeah, no, the residency it has been a very good opportunity to work with polystyrene, a uh, big canvas as well, mm. uh, meeting two other girls, the two other artists, mm. um, the technicians as well. Um, I learned new skills, new tools, so mm. I like develop um, my techniques and my practice. Okay. Um, so yeah, and using this studio space is like very nice because you know you can just be mm. a little bit messy and come back the day after and mm. just start or like continue to work on the project. No, that's good. So obviously you, you said you mentioned that you got a lot of work to do. So we're ten days up until the res. I mean the show. So is, is, does that add pressure into working towards your work, or does it change your working flow? Um, no, I. I have pressure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because it's gonna be ready, but just on time. Yeah. So every day. Uh, every day counts. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. So, Louise. No, 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 don't worry. Hello. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm very stressed right now. Yeah. I'm looking forward to opening and just meeting everyone. How are you feeling about just before the opening, the space in your work? The space looks really nice. And Catching up when everyone's here again. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. That's good, man. Yeah, no worries, man. I appreciate you lot. So, yeah, this is my family. Who inspired about this the fight you had? This is how I see my sirens. Oh, I'm going to you know that. Yeah, no, I know. So yeah, about this part, it's like, so I was adopted uh, because my mom couldn't have babies. So, you know, there is like this little 
Intel and Brad and Rio. And Rio. Yeah, and Rio there, and it's just like to make these body down. It's like, yeah, the. the it's really like you, you managed to put like everything you need. Yeah, it's a good outfit, right? So it's like... Yeah, and I think it was like a therapy or something as well. Yeah, it was great. Just to interrupt, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. Yeah? All my friends came to support me, so... No, that's amazing, man. That's amazing. That's a hey, how you doing? Are you all friends of a fan? Okay. Friends? Okay, okay, okay. So just what you got to say right now, just I just wanna just document everything that's going on. How are you feeling? I'm really excited. You got roses. Oh flowers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just really excited to talk about how you how do you not feel about her work? I'm guessing this is something New that you've discovered from her uh, practice. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. So, how do you? How, what's your approach on her work? Yeah, I think that, I like the color too. Well, okay, appreciate you guys' time anyway, but um, I'll leave you to it. Studios, please like, subscribe, and follow all social media platforms. Hopefully, we can keep bringing you residencies and good content. Yes.